I'm Dr. Jane Rackley, and this is my cut flower experiment that spans over 15 days. And as you can see, first of all, we take tap water and with two cut flowers. The second type of water we're going to compare is spring water. The third type of water we're using is the high pH and ionize. It's a, it's a pH of 9.5 type water. The next type of water we're using is a structured water. And then finally, we're using the Dox Water Elixir Water. And we're going to compare all of these to see how long each of them last. All of the waters are being changed twice daily. There's no other plant food that is added. And as you can see there, we're using the Dox Water Elixir, which we use distilled water, and then one capful of the water elixir to activate it. If we cut to the very end, at 15 days, the Dox Water Elixir is the last of all of the flowers and all of the water to stay fresh and to stay healthy. And there's what the flowers look like the end of 15 days. They still actually have some springiness, some turgor there. So these are the ones that lasted the longest. So the results are, when we compare everything, the one that lasted the least amount of time was the high pH. 9.5 ionized water only lasted seven days. The spring water, the flowers stayed fresh only eight days. The tap water, only nine days. The structured water was 12.625 days, and Doc's water elixir stayed fresh for 15 days. On a per percentage scale, if we look at these from a percentage scale, structured water, the Doc's elixir water lasted 19% longer than the structured water. The Doc's water elixir lasted 67% longer than the tap water, 88% longer than the spring water, and a whopping 114% longer than the high pH ionized water. So on average, the Dox Water Elixir increases the overall lifespan of cut flowers on average of at least 72%. So can you imagine all of the possibilities and what this means? What if this works the very same way in the human body? Try to imagine that. The current U.S. life expectancy in the United States is 78.8 years. So if we increase that by drinking good healthy water, could you imagine what might happen? Can you imagine what it'd be like for a person to live a healthier life 72% longer than we do now? What would that look like? This would mean the average person would live a life lasting an average of at least 135 and a half healthy years of life. What do you think? I'm Dr. Jane Rackley. For more information, you can go to my website, docselixiroflife.com. And also, I have a longer video that shows the whole flower experiment as well.